How to create relaxing or study music for concentration on YouTube. That will be the topic of the video. To demonstrate the process, I have already created an hour-long piano music track for concentration, which I will link in the description below. Before we begin, let's watch a 10-second example of the track to get an idea of what the end product looks like. Now let's go over some overviews. What is a relaxing music video on YouTube? It is a playlist music video that features a certain type of music, such as classical, lo-fi, Mozart, or piano. The videos typically last longer than one hour. You may have seen these types of videos recommended all over the platform. People often listen to them in the background without watching the video itself, using it as background music on a spare screen. These videos are great for increasing watch time, views, and engagement. How to create a relaxing or study music video on YouTube? Well, the answer is there are plenty of ways to do so. In this video, I will focus on the process I used, which involved using Envato Elements as a music stock source, Create Studio, a lifetime version costs 67 USD, as an animation creator, and iMovie as a combining editor software. While this may be a specific case, it will give you a good idea of how to use similar software to create your own music playlist and increase your watch time on YouTube. Why did I choose Envato Elements, Create Studio, and iMovie to create this video? The answer is simple. These are resources that I currently have. Please note that this video is not sponsored. I have a subscription to Envato Elements, which provides all kinds of resources for my creative projects, such as website templates, sounds, music, stock videos, and graphic design templates. Although it may not be the best in any particular field, it provides a wide variety of resources. For Create Studio, I like the design of its animated elements. As you can see, I use it a lot on this YouTube channel. Plus, it offers a good price package. Lastly, I used iMovie since it is free, and I have it on my Mac. I found that it works faster than Create Studio in terms of rendering for long-time videos, especially for projects that are longer than 10 minutes. In those cases, I usually divide the video into smaller parts, create them using Create Studio software, and then use iMovie to combine them. Without further ado... Let's dive in. First, let's take a closer look at the table of contents to understand the flow of this video. In the video, I'll go through step by step how I created my one hour piano relaxing music for concentration, which I linked in the description below. The steps include 1. Choosing music tracks on Envato Elements, 2. Creating doodle animations with Create Studio, 3. Combining the videos with iMovie. I'll also provide details on how much time I spent on each step to give you an idea of the video making process. Please note that this is just my way of doing things and it might not be the best way. Therefore, after watching this video, if you know of any better ways to do it, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to learn new ways of doing things. Now let's move on to the first step, choosing music tracks on Envato Elements. In my opinion, one of the most important aspects of creating a relaxing or concentration music video on YouTube is choosing a consistent music theme. This could be lofty, ambient, soft music, or a specific genre. The soundtrack should have an obvious theme to attract the right audience. For my video, I chose piano music. Let me show you how I selected piano soundtracks on Envato Elements. When creating my one-hour music video, I used two methods to search for specific soundtrack types on Envato Elements. The first method was a keyword search. I visited the music section of the Envato Elements website and typed piano into the search bar. As a result, many tracks with the word piano in their title appeared. The second method was through filtering. Instead of using keyword search, I utilized the filter function on the left-hand sidebar. I clicked on Instruments and selected Piano. This filtered out all soundtracks that did not feature the piano instrument. Since I preferred soft and positive music for this particular video, I filtered out tracks with angry, dark, or sad moods, as well as those with electric guitars and drums in the instrument category. And of course, you can combine two of these methods as well. 
While creating this tutorial video, I discovered that Envato Elements recently introduced a beta AI search function. This new feature allows you to find similar soundtracks and perform more detailed searches. For example, I tested the AI by searching for a piano soundtrack with only piano instruments, and the results were promising. You can also find similar soundtracks to ones you already like by clicking on the two overlapping circle icon on each soundtrack. This will bring up a pop-up showing similar items. I will need more time to explore these new functions later. Returning to our process, after determining my search methods, I excluded soundtracks whose sound waves resemble high-frequency notes as I desired a soft soundtrack. The music that suited my needs should have sound waves that look like these instead. Lastly, I listen to the pitch part of the filtered soundtracks to find the one that fits my theme. To save time, I only listen to the pitch part and not the entire soundtrack. If the pitch part had a clear piano sound like this, indicating other instruments only play in the background, then it passed my first round test. Then I copy and save the link of that soundtrack on my Notion notes and check it again later during the time I am making the video. At the beginning, I intended to make a two-hour piano video instead of one, but I got lazy while editing the music video. That's why I ended up with a one-hour video result. My initial math was that each soundtrack lasts around two minutes. In order to have a two-hour music video, I will need around 60 soundtracks. After calculating the wastage tolerance of soundtracks less than two minutes and soundtracks that I didn't like, I ended up with 108 soundtracks listed but used only 25 of them. Well, maybe I can save them for another example video in the future. Next, let's move on to creating the animated video. This part may take the longest time in the process, but it's not difficult at all. All of the animations used in the video are already provided in Create Studio, so a lot of time is saved. Let me show you how I did it. Before we proceed, let's do some simple math. As mentioned earlier, I divided the video into smaller parts for easier editing and faster rendering. To create a 60-minute music video with animation, I divided it into four smaller videos. Each of these videos contains approximately 15 minutes of soundtrack. Let's start with the first 15-minute video. First, create a new project in the Create Studio software. Second, create a paper background for the video. There are several ways to create a background in general and a paper background specifically in Create Studio. You can choose any kind of paper image you like, import it to Create Studio, and set it as the background. Alternatively, you can search for paper background assets within Create Studio. For this guide, I used my favorite paper background by going to Studio on the sidebar, then selecting All. Next, I typed Search in the search bar, scrolled down, and chose my favorite template. Then I ungrouped it, deleted all other elements, and kept only the background. Third, I differentiated the start and end of each soundtrack by alternating between black and white backgrounds for two consecutive soundtracks. First, take the first two soundtracks and drag and drop them into the timeline. I recommend keeping soundtracks and music tracks at the bottom while editing and in one line to keep it neat. The background is composed of two layers, one named background color and the other named paper overlay. To create a black background, duplicate the background color layer and change its color to black. Drag the new black color background to the same track line as the pre-made white color background to avoid having too many layers. At the same time, extend the paper overlay layer to ensure that it covers the entire length of the music soundtrack. Finally, adjust the new black background color to match the start and end points of the second soundtrack. Fourth, drag and drop animations to dedicated editing tracks. Although there are many other animations available on Create Studio to choose from, I particularly like the doodle style, so I sticked with it. To do so in Studio section on the left-hand sidebar, navigate to the Doodle section and randomly select Doodle elements from Effects, Transitions, and Animated. Download and drag any animation preferred into the editing track and rearrange to keep all the Doodle elements added into the edit in one line track. Note. 
You can even make it better by combining different animations as one, but remember to group them after you finish to keep all the animation in one editing track line. Create Studio offers two types of doodle animation. Black doodle goes with white background and white doodle goes with black background. So choose the doodle element accordingly with your background. Fifth, use a random grouping and ungrouping technique to quickly fill in animations for the remaining soundtrack to save time. Once there are enough doodle animations on the doodle animation track, randomly select and group a small part of the track. Duplicate the grouped animation and drag it into a new editing area. Vary the effects by grouping and ungrouping doodle effects in different parts. Repeat these steps until the first track is complete. Once the first 15-minute video is finished, creating the second, third, and fourth 15-minute videos will be easier since the first video can be used as a template. Delete the soundtracks in the soundtrack line of the first video and add the new soundtracks for the new video. Adjust the background colors to correspond with the beginning and end of each soundtrack to ensure the alternating black and white background effects of each soundtrack. Continue using the group and ungroup technique for random elements in the already done soundtrack, duplicate it, and make a random mix in the new soundtrack. Ensure that the white doodle elements match the black background and that the black doodles align with their white background. The last soundtrack may be a bit tricky, as another simple math calculation is needed. In my case, the first soundtrack is 16 minutes and 32 seconds long, the second is 15 minutes and 10 seconds long, and the third is 17 minutes and 22 seconds long. Adding these together, they have a total length of 49 minutes and 6 seconds. Therefore, to have a one-hour video, the last soundtrack needs to be 10 minutes and 54 seconds long. However, I ended up with a length of 11 minutes and 54 seconds. Although I could trim it shorter, I decided to keep it because I liked the soundtrack. My completed video was originally one hour and one minute long. However, after rendering it in iMovie, the final video was one hour, one minute, and one second. Surprisingly, after uploading it to YouTube, the video became one hour, one minute, and two seconds long. I found this interesting because I had never noticed that the video length could vary slightly after rendering and uploading before. Finally, we come to the last step, combining the videos with iMovie. This step is pretty simple, so I will not elaborate much. Simply drag the four finished videos into iMovie, arrange them into one track, and export the final video. That concludes my tutorial on how to create relaxing or study music for concentration on YouTube. The final question is how much time to allocate to each step, or in other words, how much total time was spent on the process. Let's quickly review that now. For the first step, which involved choosing music tracks on Envato Elements, it took me two hours to complete, but that was because of my lack of experience. I listed out 108 music soundtracks, planning for a two-hour music video, but ended up using only 25 of them in my one-hour video. Therefore, if I were to do it again, it should take around 30 minutes. For the second step, creating doodle animations, it took me a total of four hours to finish. However, as it was my first attempt without any tutorial, I believe I could have completed it in around three hours or perhaps even less with some guidance. Lastly, for the final step of combining the videos with iMovie, it took 20 minutes to get it done, which was mostly rendering time. This step is straightforward, so if I were to do it again, it would take the same amount of time. It took me a total of 6 hours and 20 minutes to create my one-hour piano music video for learning and concentration with doodle animation. If I were to do it again, it would only take around 3 hours and 50 minutes. If I skipped the animation and used only one animated picture for the whole video, like many YouTube channels do, it would be even faster. It's no wonder why there are so many videos like this on YouTube. They require less time to create, but are still effective in terms of watch time, views, and engagement. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching until the end. If you found the video interesting, please give it a like. If you would like to watch more of my digital experiments or hear my honest reviews on software that I have used, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive updates whenever I post a new video. See you next time!